Let me bring in King of Pole. What's up, King of Pole? How's it going? You got to unmute yourself. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, what's up? Uh, not much. I was, uh, I guess I, I tuned back into your stream and you had all the TXT stuff up and somebody told me that you wanted to, you yeah. wanted to know more about TXT. Well, because, you know, the Super Chats were kind of um, glitching, not playing when they came in. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I so, can tell you all about him. You, you yeah. It's kind of surprising, actually. He's He's been close friends with Jim for a long time. He was in all of our Skype groups. See, I must we have just a, forgot that or didn't know. Like, I, I don't know. I just didn't um, realize. It. He goes way back, man. He used to mess with this. Uh, his history is ridiculous. I, in fact, I really don't understand um, his issue with you. It doesn't even make any sense. He doesn't even have one. He just jumped in with Kinoche. And, right. I mean, this is a guy who – uh, was hanging out. I mean, Avon Barksdale can uh, attest to this. He was in the same server when we saw this happening because they they called a bomb threat on me on the Gut News Network uh, stream that he set up with this guy. Um, I mean, they did it live. What? <laughs> live on air. It was nuts. So I'll just tell you about Kino Shade's crew. That's when I was like, well, these guys are these guys are off the rails, right? Um, but this guy was trying to buy your mom's ashes, and then on top, I of saw that. that. I did see that. Yeah. What's that? I did see that part. Well, yeah, he would he would do that, or he would suggest um, other users, brigade, groipers. There was some guy that he thought was a groiper with a Sonic avatar, and he would, like, uh, brigade his Twitter accounts to flag people down on Twitter. And he would do it with Kinoche and those guys. I mean, they did it all the time until Kinoche got ran out, obviously, because, I mean, him and half of the staff were literally sex offenders. I mean, the whole, I mean, Godwinson has covered one of his fucking staff members leaking everything, who is literally a registered sex offender at Battle Creek. <laughs> so... What so, the fuck? That, yo, you should ask him about that. Ask him about the Jeremiah guy. There was a guy. Okay. So, so Ke- Kinoche had a moderator, and he got, like, kicked out. And the guy went live on camera. I can't remember his fucking username. Some people might remember oh. this. But he went live on camera, and he was, like, uh, ranting about Kinoche, and then he wanted to lay into the sector. So Godwinson, I mean, ate him alive on air. And it led to him and the roommate talking to him and uh, about the whole registered sex offender thing and – um, justifying it, and then it, they ended up getting the guy to eat a rat on camera, or like lick a rat and punch, and let the roommate beat him up on camera for being a pedophile. It was just—I mean, these are the people that go after you, Ralph. What do you want me to say? I can't, dude. I, I, it, I it really is a, a rogues gallery, and I said this, but uh, it's crazy. Satanists, you know, literally. Like, anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but I'll fill you in on TXC. So back in the day, way like Gamergate days, he was uh, somebody who was like a Twitter got bought. Um, who harassed a guy named Grant. He's a Scottish I know guy him. Who's based- we talked to him. I know him. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So Grant was involved with us, like me, Andrew, Gurpy, Danny. He was there. Yes. But what he would do was, so Grant, you remember Grant. Yes. And so the chat won't know this. So just to give a clarification, um, Grant is an autistic Scottish man in, in Glasgow who is so uh, autistic that he can't, he, he has like on disability, he can't really function right. He's basically equivalent of a Christian. And yeah, um, very similar. The this guy decided to hijack his social media accounts with his name because this guy was so autistic. He like he liked cartoons, um, and he would like these voice actors of cartoons and like be fans of them and all that other stuff. So what he would do is he'd hijack this guy and use his real information, and then he would harass the voice actors. And this caused the autistic guy to try to kill himself a couple times. Um, Luckily, he failed. But then they also recorded him um, by tricking him into convincing him to take his pants down and sing a song called Meat and Potatoes on camera for him and Mr. Medicare That's to, to get him to dance with his penis and balls out. And they, there's an encyclopedia dramatic article about them doing this to this guy. But they, he did this, he did this for, for, for fun. He would just hijack people's accounts, pretend to be them, and then literally – cause massive like just criminal behavior and people don't understand people that online. this is the type of shit Medicare does for fun as well well this uh, was this was just back then and yeah then no well i don't know if he does he, it now but he used to remember those fat that fat couple that he used to always watch like fucking oh, each the, other the stories yeah the stories yeah yeah that to. was weird that was weird that was i strange. was that was disturbing that was very weird uh, what ralph's referring to chad is um there was a time where there was these two really fat obese women. Very fat, on like Chatterbait. PPP level, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they were on Chatterbait, but they were posting their their Chatterbait link to to the 4chan board called Random or B, and uh, Mr. Medicare and them would tune into this to watch it unfold because apparently one of them was like 18, and they and then parents got involved, and it was kind of a shit show, but they were interested in doing stuff like that, and they would do this behind the scenes all the time. Right. Uh, they thought it was fun. I thought it was fucking strange as I played Street Fighter, and I stayed the fuck out of it. 
<laughs> but this guy TXT would do stuff like that all the time to people, and he thought that was okay. And he 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 prouded himself on it by making like a Twitter army. Well, it really came to a head when Darkside Phil he he went from the Grant guy and then started doing the same stuff to Darkside Phil to the point where he was brigading like companies that sponsored Phil. Um, to get his financial finances pulled to the point where he he harassed like some gaming chair company to give him a chair over Phil. He went on he went on Twitch TV and he would take uh, he would like make T-shirts with Phil's face on it and sell them. Uh, he would take emojis and any he would steal any of the guy's stuff, copyright stuff. He would flag his stuff down. I mean, he was doing all this with Phil for years. Uh, it was so bad that the top group that used to fuck with Phil, which was Sunda Kojima put a bounty on his head to get him to stop fucking with Phil because he was so, he was so egregiously out of control with it. Now he hung out with us in Skype. Um, and, uh, he hung out with me and uh, Andrew and David and Gerpy. And at this age now he's in his fifties, but back then he was probably like early, late thirties, early forties, but he lived in New York in a studio apartment. He's a gay guy. Um, he's all, he's an incel. He's never had sex. Wait, 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 he's he a gay just, incel. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would bitch about it all the time. And he was like and he was like a teacher, but he would never explain what it was until he talked about dancing. And he was like a dance instructor for years. And then um, he just – he would vent his anger on Twitter and at people he just perceived that were doing better than him. I don't know. It, it's all – it's hard to explain like this stuff. I mean it was so bad that the Kiwi Farms tried to dox this guy for years because he was – they hated him. I think they still hate him because he's just – He's just an asshole. <laughs> he's just he's just a scumbag. I mean, he's he's been doing this for over a decade. I mean, uh, it came to a head with us when me and him got into a yelling match uh, in Skype uh, about his behavior, and he couldn't he couldn't stand the fact that I just call him a faggot and a piece of shit over and over again. I called him a burger boy because he got <laughs> so. There's an inside joke, right? So Andrew uh, Blackface Kermit, yeah, and David um, would make inside jokes because he's a gay guy. He would drink like a lot of daiquiris, and um, he loves Dunkin' Donuts, so. One day he would preach at us about putting alcohol in what's something something called a culotta, um, which is a Dunkin' Donuts drink. Oh, that's hold on supposed a to be like a daiquiri. Anonymous sent three dollars. How can you be a fag and not get it's laid? Rare. Just go to a monkeypox party. All right, now go ahead, bro. I can't. I can't answer all these, these my life bugger. lessons with this guy. <laughs> all I know is that this guy has been doing the same behavior for over 10 plus years with different people. He goes from one to the next. If you try to get a straight answer, I've asked this guy, what, like I try, I've asked him, I think you've seen the Twitter, but essentially I've asked him, I said, what did Ralph do to you? And his response is to just say, I'm, I'm the devil. And, uh, and I've done all these horrible things that nobody can source, nobody can cite. I mean, if you want to talk about some of the shit about me, sure, you got outlines. You've got me fighting with people that have called uh, bad names on the internet to the point where we've talked about boxing. I mean, me and you've done it. I've done it with sure. other people who've tried it, but I don't swat people. Um, I don't, I don't go that far. I don't agree with that. I don't think, I think that's wrong. I think my whole argument, uh, you know, I've been fucking with Gator for like three days because my whole point, and I've told these, these fucking circle jerk Twitter guys is, Hey, um, why don't we, we like sign like an autistic Geneva convention and people can just start making fun of each other on the internet again. And we can go back to where like flagging was the most egregious thing. Cause right now it just, you just round you Ralph and, and everyone else. And they call it, they call it the sector, which is kind of stupid, but I called it I'm that way. Off. It's not stupid. They stole it from me. I called it the sector. Is I used that to, really where they got yes, it from? No, it's not stupid. It's I, genius, but, uh, they did. <laughs> they, they took I don't know, it. Cause they all say it. And it they, well, you know why they do it? They do it because they think they're owning me, uh, by stealing my phrase, but they just popularized it right like i didn't they, even know you came up with it yeah i originally said it, it. And yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. yeah it is it's kind like, of annoying okay, well point. i don't even yeah. know like if, if you try to explain like you'll say somebody like the sector and then people will ask what yeah. that is and how do you even explain well i used that? to you, say I, just tell them that, I used to say this corner of the internet and i was like that's too that's long. what i used to say I yeah, yeah, this yeah. Side of the internet. yeah 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 that's what i said yeah, yeah. I, but on this side of the internet you know these guys all they all operate this way and my whole point was it's like hey can we step it back how are you going to say ralph's an evil guy for like doing these abhorrent things to these these people online and stuff like with Jim or or Gator, which he deserves it. Fuck Gator, all these people that you guys say that oh Ralph's crossed the line with, but you're over here like swatting people, you're playing, you're doxing multiple people. I mean, just this morning, prime example, just this morning they were they already doxed this girl that was at your bowling alley, posted her Instagram, and this TXT fuckhead is contacting the guy who was at your event on Twitter saying, you're the guy that paid for this girl or whatever. We need the details now. And I'm like, why are you harassing this chick? She's, she's not even a griper. 
from what I understand. You don't she's even know not, her. Dude, she why was hired even, by the event coordinator, I'll say. None of these guys. But, but, what, but you and, know, it doesn't even matter because what, what, is, what is her knowledge? She did nothing. She showed right. up in bold. It's just you're harassing somebody for the sake of harassment. So then, yeah. then I have to pause and ask the question to the A-log community, as Teddy Feaser would call it, and say, how are you better than Ralph? How are you better than the Ralph camp or whatever you want to call it? These people that you're brigading against, if you're doing the same tactics that you're claiming that Ralph is doing every fucking day. And then when I ask, I ask the simple question of, can you cite your source? And you scream at me that I'm evil for asking that. Then I look at you in the same lens as I would look at CNN. It's like, okay, so I have to believe you trust. Remember back in the day, Ralph, when we used to have to use that term, trust, but verify. I do. That was beaten over my head because of the Denton leaks. I've been accused of making shit up by, by multiple people. And in some cases, I've either exaggerated or got shit wrong, right? But the term trust but verify meant something. Nowadays, it's like, we'll just call people, like where they call you a registered sex offender, right? That's not true. No, that's, not. that's literally not true. That's not what you are. You're not a convicted sex offender. You're not a, a registered sex offender. You never molested children. No. But they'll claim that by trying to insinuate that faith is underage. She was. Don't know why. But she, they do it to you every time. It's wrong. I it's know. It's generally wrong, especially as a kid, person with kids who's dealing with court with their kids, right? Because then the judge might see that and have to ask you a stupid ass question because retards on the internet think it's funny. And it's like, but when you start posting their personal information, that's too far. But it's, and, and you know, it's like, okay, well I'm playing your game, right? Like if I'm mentioning your personal life, well, you're doing the same thing right now to people like Ralph and stuff like that to hope that he doesn't stream again or to kill himself in most cases. Like a lot of these guys right. just want you dead. Well, you know, I said right? this earlier and I'll let you pick back up cause I've talked all day, but, um, you know, the, the reason I said everything's fair game is I was just stating the game, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just stating the rules because yeah. it had already been yeah. that way against me, right? right. Uh, so, anyway, go ahead. Right. But, yeah, that's that's the operation it is. And my whole point is, is, like, with Gator, I told Gator, I said, maybe if you just start taking accountability and responsibility and start apologizing for some of the fucked up things you did. Because let's be honest, Ralph, and I and you can ask Goblinson this. He'll confirm this. We all watched that stream where he snaked on you and he went on Kino Casino, right? Yeah. And we watched Medicare hand the torch to him and Flamenco live on air. And we all were like, what the fuck? First of all, it came off to us like a Nuremberg trial. I was following Ralph's orders. Faggot, you have been doing your own thing for years. For years. You didn't even have to say shit to him. He was encouraging himself to do shit. Dude, Gator His docked so many people. Me. Gator flagged people, not on my orders, by the way. He was trying to get me to flag people it. for I him because people were making fun was, of him. He was just encouraging himself. He was yes. encouraging himself thinking this is yes. what Ralph would want. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, I, and I, I, I couldn't tell you how many times. Ago, well, look, I couldn't tell you how many times he came to me and said, so and so is making fun of me. Can you report this or do that or do this and do that? No, nah, I wouldn't. Well, I would you, say you I would. Don't, you don't even have to do that. Let's take into account the Chudbud leaks. He, he wrote this long diatribe of dr dribble. I haven't even read it on my shit with no sources once again. Because these guys will just write a bunch of shit, say the most egregious shit, and then when you, they will never provide a single shred of evidence. Well, meanwhile, you have like Esso Shaggy clipping everything and posting it because you have to trust but verify. Because if it's you, Ralph, you have to you have to triple check your boxes. Sure. Right. Yeah. You, you have to go back three times. You got to. You got to. I mean, how many times have I watched your stream and I hear you go, "Hey guys, no, I know you guys are going to clip this, but don't take this out of context." I've heard you say that like a dozen times because the Vickers will just send you another fucking letter saying you said this, and it's well, like an eight second clip, and I'll... then you ask the judge to play thirty minutes or something, and then it's like, okay, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I know, I know what you deal with. I see it, and it's like it's retarded. It's just retarded. And if and, and if these guys would just fire up a stream and just talk shit back and keep it keep it at the level of just, I don't like you, you don't like me, let's talk some shit, this wouldn't be a big deal, right? I mean, back in the day, the Boulder Gate stream was one of the biggest streams because it was so egregious to have a flagging history where you're flagging down your enemies. Well, and it also now he was lying like, about it the whole show, and then he yeah, reveals and lying that he— about it. I mean, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's yeah. a cake on top. But, yeah. but flagging was considered— the fucking mortal death nail, right? Now, now that's based in red pill. That's based. Well, that's you know, I never would support flagging uh, back in the day. Uh, and the reason for that was it was just like, well, that's just something you don't do. Now, 
Right. It changed because, for me at least, because I was getting flagged. And people were taking me down. And they're literally, I could see them plotting on Kiwi Farms in the open and get, you know, reports of them in private where they're but trying no, to take me down. that's true, Ralph. Josh says that it doesn't happen <laughs> yeah. on the Kiwi Farms. Right. I know what he says. And meanwhile, they make an entire <laughs> sub gun forum, and they have moderators getting bribed to look the other way. Yeah. And the reason I changed my tune was because, well, I mean, I'm getting flagged. Everybody's going after me. All right, if that's the new rules, then I'm going to change the way I play. And You should have uh, just planned. You know, I mean, this is what blows my mind is Gator gets off scot-free, walks away, and says on, on the Kino Casino, you can go back and find this. You can clip it. He says on the Kino Casino flank Manko that he's done with you. He's going to do his anime yeah. stream or whatever, yeah. you know, to his 3,000-year-old waifu shit <laughs> and do his thing. We're we're like how how many years now since you and Jim talked on that one stream with with Monday Man? I mean, it's it like was over like, a year. Yeah, it was over a year. It was February twenty twenty two, so over a year. Okay, but. yeah, so over a year, and he's still doing it. He's still going. He's to do still the doing Baylords. it. Guess who else is doing it? He's Medica. In, he's in the Chud Buds leaks over here, and it's not even just you anymore, right? I, I don't even know what this Dymo guy did to him. The Dymo guy is literally an irrelevant. He's nobody, but just for the sake of the chat, he's some weird guy who's gay. Who well, wait, to be I don't think, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. First off, I always got along with Dymo. I don't uh, want to slag him off. No, but not a shot at him. But I thought he got married. I don't know that he's gay. Anyway, I don't. Yeah, he's, he's married, but he he tells people online that he's gay with his group, which is this. Oh, this that he's playing group. around. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, but he play, tends to be a gay samurai. He runs, I mean, he does these silly yeah. weird videos. Yeah, yeah. But for a fact, this guy has not swatted people. The worst he's done is oh. fake screenshots to make a point at other people. That's it. Right, but in the Chud Chudbuds leaks, you have Gator working with the Kiwi Farms guys, setting up meetings with Joshua Connor Moon, talking about swatting events, talking about getting Vickers to subpoena people, and talking about trying to get the banks, his bank account, shut down and stuff by the courts by manipulating events that it may or may not have occurred. Right, trying to force this guy to shut the fuck up just because the guy made a video making fun of Gator. I mean, it's- that's ins- that's insane. It's that's, cr- that's not- these people will that's do anything. The- well, you talked about it earlier, and I'll let you pick right back up. But like going after that that woman that was at the uh, bowling event, Kingpin. Insane. Right? She didn't do anything. She's not even a part nope. of this. I'm never. I'm never going to see her again. I never saw her before that night. She bowled and talked to some people and left, and that was all she was supposed to do. I don't even think she was going to bowl at first. And then my friend was like, had, "Let her bowl." The Wooza guy. I don't know what his name is. I don't mean Wooza, but the guy. I think it's like Wooza Lord or something. Um, and Beardson, they were kind of, they were kind of poking Wizard. fun with her and stuff and fucking with her and stuff like that. And were, root. Yeah. But, but at the end of the day, it was like, what, what, what is the point of harassing the guy who set this girl up and brought her here? She's, she's literally irrelevant. She's not America first. She's not on cozy. She doesn't do streams. Right. You're posting like her social media accounts or Instagram to people who practice and dedicate themselves in taking one photo from you and finding out your entire family lineage and then sending that to your entire family. There's it's nothing, crazy. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing beneficial. And then I have, I'm paused and I have to go, okay, so how is this side? Because they, they think it's in camps. They think it's like Ralph's yes. on the other side. Like they think in war, right? They think like you're on one camp, they're on the other camp, right? With the Kino casino guys and Jim and all that stuff. And you know, there's Jim's driveway. Right. And, and they think, okay, how how is it, how are you better than Ralph's camp when you claim Ralph is evil and does all these horrible things, but you're literally doing the same fucking thing? Worse, I would argue. Ralph? I would argue it's worse, what? quite frankly. I mean, I don't know that I've went after somebody like that. Um, that's just totally well, you remote. Go to Gators. You you you. Okay, you sold Gator. You snaked on me. You fucked me over. He's leaking all these DMs. He's leaking shit with your wife and you having your own issues, right? So right. everybody's getting a chuckle out of that. It's all fucking going down there. And you go, hey man. I, I could plaster your face all over fucking college and let everyone know that you, you supported a neo-Nazi, neo-Nazi what, what the media claims is a neo-Nazi far-right extremist podcast for seven-plus years minimum as my right-hand guy. And then you didn't do it. No, I didn't and do it. a year down the road, and he still— They still lie about that, uh, King of Paul. And the, and the reason is— uh, because I didn't do it. You can call me Brian. It's yeah, I know. I know. People knows. know you're Brian. I slipped up. They already know your name anyway, a lot of them. But Brian, yeah, I'm used know. to talking to you. You know, we talked a lot before. Um, so, yeah, I was. I put that out as an example of what I could do. I was never actually going to do that. You said in the Super Chat earlier that I should have. I mean, honestly, I should have because I already yeah. get credit like I did it anyway. Right? Well, I t- if, 
<laughs> Go ahead. Well, look at look at the the outcome, right? You have a year's worth of Gator just constantly, unprovokingly, fucking pounded at home. He's in the Chud Buds League. He's working with Josh. He's working with these people. He's lying about his involvement, all this stuff. He's randomly getting involved in swatting people like the Dymo, who nobody knows, nobody cares about, just because the guy called him a fag one time. I mean, you're you're talking about an unhinged motherfucker who's literally just. These are people that are miserable. Like, let's look at his life, right? He lives with his parents. He's in his mid-30s. He failed in college. He graduated with a liberal arts degree, right? He didn't even get his film degree. He didn't get the radiology test. And he's still working at the same place he was working. And and surprisingly, after like eight plus years of working at this fucking grocery store, he's still doing the same menial job at minimum wage. So what does he have to do? He has to pay. He can't buy a car. He has to ride the public bus. He sees you going to fucking Cuba. He sees me with kids and a wife and doing my own thing. He sees other people, even Worski in them. He probably sees them. Because yeah. remember, he said he, he fucked Worski, but, or no, I love Worski, but fuck PPP. But he sees these guys making money and he loses his fucking mind and he can't handle it. So if you poke at him just a tiny bit, well, fuck, I'm going to privately go scorched earth. I'm going to spend years and years of my life trying to tear you down. I mean, I don't know what it was that caused him to snake on you. I, I think no it was jealousy. Idea. I think it was jealousy, quite frankly, uh, and the Probably. idea that he should, you know, be that guy. He can't be that guy because he's not that guy, right? Like, I mean, that's not – he's if not he a lead character. Guy, he'd be streaming right now. He'd be live right now going, fuck all y'all. I'm going to do me. I'm going to stream about my anime shit. Right. Y'all can suck my – he'd be streaming every night. Worst, he's a retard for putting up all these videos all day with his mom driving him around, looking like a psychopath, right, yelling out of his window about Godwinson and shoulder pads, right, doing these fucking push-ups when <laughs> he could have fired up a stream – and yeah. just done it live for chats and done a whole promo. And why does this retard does all this shit for free? This is the same dumbass who why Ashton's in the hospital for two weeks and he doesn't go and visit, by the way. It's supposed to be his best friend. What? He doesn't go and see this guy for two weeks. He sits in his house and he doesn't do a lick of work. And then as soon as the guy gets out off of his deathbed into the house and they say, you need some rest, he puts him in front of the camera and fires <laughs> him straight. And you get content. You get content and make money. Right. So it's like they're fucking stupid. It's like if you're going to – if your career – is doing this e-celeb shit. You want to stream. You want to do all this stuff. You want to be Mr. Anime Boomer Podcast. You want to be Mr. Kino Casino. You got to do work, bro. If if you're fucking, if you guys are going to sit here and just tweet about your dumb shit all the time and never want to actually respond ever to any of the accusations, you're just, you're just going to be, it's, you're dismissed automatically. You don't play with sources. You do the same shit Ralph does or what well, Ralph, you claim Ralph does or Ralph's camp does or these random people I mean, they're fucking doxing your 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 fucking what is this your so shaggy because the guy clips everything and calls out these guys as bullshit. They hate it. They hate it every time these guys do something hypocritical. So shaggy's there and he checks them. Oh, hey, look, this guy's being a fucking hypocrite. Look at that. And they get pissed off. So what do they do? They try to dox so shaggy almost immediately off a of big text fucking fuck up. And then, and then he blames his chat. He goes, "Oh, chat, you told me that was Mormon Shaggy who runs the so shaggy channel. I didn't know. My bad. Oops." I mean that's 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 your that's how you dox people now. That's how they do it now. They just I don't know. They're not. Well, it's duplicitous, man. It's, it's complete it's, fake. You know, when I dox somebody, I just come out and say this. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's another right. thing too. <laughs> uh, all snakes. It's like they want to look morally or ethically better. Yes. Than you. Yes. But they they are practicing the same shit that they claim you preach every fucking day. And at least you'll do it to your face. These fucking guys will be snakes about it and obtuse and like Joshua Connor Moon and fire up streams and act like they don't know what the fuck's going on. That they're the victims of shit that is literally fabricated in their head. You don't even know TXT, and you've never fucked with this guy, yet this guy is on your nuts every fucking day in Kinochet's server, doing gay ops, trying to buy your mom's ashes, trying to do all this fucked up weird weird IRL shit to you, and you don't even fucking know him. Why? It's you, bizarre. Gator, it's bizarre. You cut Gator loose, you cut a promo on him, you let him know what's up, and you don't follow through. You don't fuck with this guy's real life. You could have you could have gone scorched earth, post his whole family, dox his dad's work, all this shit. You don't do anything. And this fucking guy spends a whole year still going and using you as bait to get clicks because no one watches his gay boomer podcast. Still to this day. I mean, honestly, if he just went and did something else, I'd probably just let it go, right? You know what I mean? I would. He got nothing. He, he can't. Got nothing. What Ralph, else would he be without problem. being my ex-co-host? Literally, like he's not that guy. I said it already, but. He can't carry a show. He doesn't have the personality. He doesn't have the charisma. He's it's just flat. You know what I mean? Like it's well, not. These guys invested all this energy into something productive, like a new hobby, a new sure. skill, a new, trip, a new craft, 
anything else to fix what's going on, they would be 10 times Maybe happier. you should try getting a but wife and not. kids or something like that, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, anything. Not, because, yeah. because you see Gator, they wake up in their messy-ass room, the stinky <laughs> room, because you know Gator don't shower, and that's that bed that probably doesn't have a fucking sheet on it. He's living like he's 18 years old in his mom's basement when he's in his mid-30s. He sees this fucking crumpled up diploma for a liberal arts degree in the corner, <laughs> cries himself to sleep as he puts on his fucking his fucking grocery bag uniform and he goes out there to push carts <laughs> out in the yard. And after a day, and imagine this, Ralph. Now this this will tell you everything you need to know about Gator. He works at the same fucking place he's been working at since you've known him, bagging groceries and pushing carts. Uh, he and rides a bicycle. Once, that is. That is Around town, that did is you know over that? seven years. That's over seven years of being at one place, and not once has he got a promotion. Not once has he become a manager in seven years. They left him <laughs> in the same menial task the whole time. Now, why in the fuck would you stay at a company that would do that to you? Because you got nothing else. We just watched Clark the other day. It reminds me they of know Clark. something. They know something that we know that we don't even need to meet him to verify that he's a weirdo, he's a creepy guy, and he's fucking schizophrenic. <laughs> Imagine you it. you saw you were like riding around town. And you saw Gator on his bicycle with like a box of fucking Krispy Kreme donuts, People like bouncing. Think, it how many times do you think that bike broke down and he had to take a public bus? <laughs> Ask his mom for a ride in his mid thirties. <laughs> Mommy, can you take me to work? Imagine riding a bike in your mid thirties, unless it's for you know exercise or something like well, that. You no, know, look, I have no problem with guys who want to take their bike to go. No, to yeah, I mean, if but you're those doing guys that, no, are like fit guys. That yes, have like fucking boats in the yard and shit. They're just doing it because they right. can. They work. They work like they're like. I like. I know a guy. He's an engineer. He's a civil engineer. He lives five miles from his his office, and he sits a nine to five job. You sit in front of a computer just doing AutoCAD, making blueprints all day. So. He takes his bike and he'll ride it up there all the time because he's a fit guy. We work out. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, that's fine. This guy owns his own fucking house, has kids and shit like that. Gator, he has to do that. Or he has to pay for his bus pass or hope that his daddy doesn't get mad when he asks him for a ride again. It's fucking tough. I, do you think he even has a driver's license? I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. I don't know either. I, I mean, know. I know he doesn't have a car. Uh, but, but all, oh, all you know what? Actually, I do know. Because he brought, wait, wait, he brought his driver's license to Knoxville and it was expired. And he couldn't get in the there bar. And Coach Red Pill had to go. pull a couple strings to even get him inside the bar. I just went inside. I was like, all right, well. He, you he, he can't even afford to, to renew his fucking driver's license. This guy's a failure. And, and most of these guys are failing. Like TXT, he's 52 years old with no kids, stuck in New York in an apartment, a studio apartment. Um, probably not teaching anymore, if I had to guess, and just seething on the internet. Uh, there is something that is absolutely true. And I know most of your chat is like young guys who are like Zoomers that are in America First and stuff. So if you could take one one advice from this. If you meet these guys, just understand that most, if you look at them, most of them don't have shit. Even Jim didn't have anything until he started getting super chats and he bought a house. He was smart enough to buy a house, all right? That was it. But he didn't have a house before that. He was living in a fucking apartment because Joshua Connor Moon doxed him. <laughs> Which really shook him up, by the way, no matter what he said in public. Uh, and you could tell it did. And he kind of started. But, but all these guys have one trend. They're, they don't have a lot of shit going on in their lives. They don't have families. Or they, uh, or they really want that. And they're really fucking pissed off at society or the system. And they see other people and they just want to lash out on it. They want to lash out and they want to fuck with people that they perceive to be the bad guy in a superhero movie. Because you're not a fucking supervillain, Ralph. You're, you're just not. No, right? <laughs> like, like you're not. And I'm like, I've always said this, even to people who always told me when I had beef with you, I always said, look, me and Ralph shit is always real. And I have never understood people that come to me and want to drink your blood. And I go, well, what did Ralph do to you? And they literally have nothing to say. Well, They're man, like, you had nothing. actual reason to be mad at each other. Uh, yes. Right. Like it's, it's like the TXT. And if I can That's look right. and if I can sit here and be like, Ralph, you're cool. I wish you the best, bro. And I mean it. I mean it wholeheartedly. I wish you the best. I wish everything going on for you no biggie, no stuff, then these fucking guys need a reality check. Because if, if I can say that after all the shit, and you, and I hope, and you can say the same thing, I can, after yeah. all the shit between us, because we're adults, and I wish you, and I honestly wish you the best. I hope you get to see your daughter and your, and your wife soon. I hope all that works out. But these fucking people, they ain't, they ain't worth it. They're insects. They're just fucking, they're just slime. And my whole, the whole reason why I made the Twitter account to fuck with these people was just to point out that they live in a fucking echo chamber on Twitter. They circle jerk, jerk, you know, circle jerk each other off all the time. And, they are no better than the than the people, the enemy that they claim is doing all the evil shit because they do the same exact shit, if not worse. They try to financially ruin you. How the fuck are you going to pay child support to Vickers? Right? No, you don't even say his name. If if Vic, and this is just to Vickers because he blocked me today after losing his mind. How the fuck is Ralph going to pay 
pay for Xander shit and take care of and do nah. what he's supposed to do as a man. It's just the Vickers. If you keep trying to get his money taken away, it doesn't. You know what I mean, Ralph? It's I have like, a lot I could say about that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, it's resist. Fucked up. It's um, like how you like this is your this is your job. This is literally your job. This is what you do. I I understand that. I respect that. But if 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 I if why in the fuck would the would you do that? If you're if you're trying to pay child support and do the right thing and do do what you're supposed to do, whether it's court ordered or not, right? Why the fuck would you keep taking money out of your grandson's mouth? There's nothing you springboard off that baby. I told you that in Cog Server, Vickers. You took the baby and you said, I'm gonna make myself a career out of it. Your own daughter wrote about it in her now, own fucking diary. Now wait, let's before anyone else knew. I you can say whatever you want, obviously. It's not me saying it, but let's Let's still tone it down a little bit. I, you know, I don't all know. Right. I, yeah, just right. a little Look, because I, you know, again, I'm not going to say anything and haven't, but you, yeah. this isn't you at all. This is all me. It's just, it mind boggles me because that's what I'm talking about is they say you're the devil, but then they do shit like that. And yeah, and you can't justify it to me. You're not going to justify it as a man with family and kids. Um, if, if my, if some reason uh, I had to deal with what you're dealing with, and and uh, the other family member was literally trying to make sure I couldn't even pay, pay my own, to pay my own kid to make sure they have a good life. It'd be nuts. Like that'd just be insane. That wouldn't make it. That would be nuts. I would hope the baby mama would step in and say, "Calm the fuck down, step well, the fuck back." You know, but it, uh, it is no. Don't say it is That's just it is. my my <laughs> logic. I don't want to know anything about it. I don't want you to say anything. I don't want you in trouble. This is just me. But right. and I, you that's know, all I have to say. I appreciate it. But, by the way, I want to say this before you go. Um, I do wish you the best, and I do wish you well in life and with your family and all that. Thank you. Um, and honestly, most people, you know, we've had a nasty beef, right? We've been at each other's throats for yeah. years. But, you know, I'm a man, right? Like, if somebody comes to me and they're like, I wish you the best, and, you know, all that stuff was dumb, and I'm like, yeah, it was. <laughs> right? Like, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. that's silly. Um, this is real life. You know what I mean? This is real life shit. And, yeah, I do wish you the best. And I, like I said, I, I could do that with a lot of people, but a lot of people don't want that. Uh, and so it's unfortunate, well, but. Well, I'll end it with this. And I think you'll resonate with this. Sure. I think if like Gator and TXT and a lot of these guys from what they call the A-Log community, as Teddy Feaser likes to say, um, <laughs> would just come and say, Hey, you know what? I'm being a shithead. Um, I'm crossing some lines. I'm doing shit that I, I blamed you for. I apologize. And just, just owned up to it and then calm the fuck down so that we can all just, watch some shit and maybe you know we can go back to the old days where one of these guys would hop on your stream and just want to yell at you and you can yell back and we can have some real fucking internet blood sports and enjoy a good show and sit back and we don't have to worry about someone getting swatted in the middle of the fucking stream you know what i mean or, or i agree to do like some weird... that would be great if they just came out and apologized like i told gator this i said gator it, it'll stop when you just take accountability and responsibility for your actions i'll stop fucking with you I'll stop calling you on your bullshit. I'll stop asking you to cite your sources like a, like a fucking news source because you guys lie too much that you don't even know how to how to keep up with your own lies, right? But these guys don't want to apologize. They don't want to be like, hey, we've gone too far. They want to just dig their heels into the fucking dirt, and, and uh, we got to make sure Ralph is in destitute no matter what. We got to just do this. Even though Ralph never went to Jim's house, even though Ralph never— I never, never did half of that shit. It. Yeah, I was about to say, um, I don't know. Never. It's— Never fucked with Gator, never, you know, never, never actually did anything to the Vickers other than give him a grandson. And, you know, um, Ralph is just a guy who's like an everyday guy who deals with his own fucking personal problems. And we get to watch it because that's just your job. This is what you do. Um, I guarantee you if these fucking retards had to stream all the time like your show, they couldn't handle it. And we would see a bunch of silly shit on their end. We would see all types of silly shit. And you'd be able to point and be like, well, look at this fucking guy. But they won't do that. Gator won't do that. You think Gator's going to turn on his camera and show you his room? And well, that's the thing. He mom. he's already face fagged, like, but he won't do a stream like showing his face because he's too self conscious. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it you is, pointed that it out. Is, man. It is what it is. So, yeah, anyways, I'll let you go. Thank you, brother. Um, but that's basically it on TXT and everything else. I hope you the best, and uh, hopefully one day these guys just chill out and they start apologizing, and everybody can just shake hands and. I'm down you know, for it. I don't. Together. I won't. I won't hold my breath though. Uh, King of Paul, thank you, sir, Brian. Thank nah, you. For no problem. Us. Fuck you, Brian Holloman in North Carolina. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> thank you, sir. We'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.